All right, what is good, everybody, and welcome back to Chico Castro's Road to Glory. We just came off of a rough season with the Northwestern Wildcats. Unexpectedly, um, I, I didn't really think that we would have that difficult of a time there. We could still go back and make up for it, um, possibly focus a little better, get some more training points, things of that nature, or we could try to go to a better offense with a higher overall now if we're looking at all of these right we're starter 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 across most of them the only offenses that have a very high well three the only three offenses that have a very high rating is i'm looking to finalize it okay four there's four and osu is actually tied with the top so louisville two so we have five options we have five options, okay? We have Louisville Cardinals. Their interest level isn't that high in me. We have... Uh, uh, do I want to go... To, well, they're both ACC. We have the Oklahoma State Cowboys, which have sick-ass uniforms. Um, we have... The Wisconsin Badgers, I did not see them. Okay, so let's start from the top. Let's start from the top, let's start from the top. So Baylor, obviously, 85 overall offense, um, 84 overall defense, pretty high on interest level. My job security is not that good, so maybe not. Um, then you go to the i'm trying to find it i mean syracuse is an option our job security is basically secured um but i don't know about syracuse now that i've seen the other options uh the washington huskies with our job security being high interest level not that high but our nil opportunities would be high as well um then you have the iowa hawkeyes another team that our job security isn't really all there um so maybe not michigan state would be more for the prestige of it but wisconsin is a very high overall also in the big 10 my job security would be basically secured and their interest level is not that high but the school fit the coach prestige a so in reality, the only teams that I'm considering is the Wisconsin Badgers, Louisville Cardinals, um, and Syracuse in all reality. Um, the Houston Cougars are great and all, but I don't know. Honestly, without any sort of like suspense or any of that stuff, I think I'm gonna go with the Wisconsin Badgers. They have an 86 overall offense, 86 overall defense, and an 86 overall. Their interest level is not high, but my job security is high. Uh, medium NIO opportunities, A coach prestige, A school fit. He's a program builder, so you also have the Louisville Cardinals. I just like how prestigious the Wisconsin Badgers are. They're in the Big Ten. I won't be facing ACC teams. I'll continue with the Big Ten, have those big games. I think I'm gonna have to go Wisconsin. I think I am. I don't wanna be a backup. So none of these teams, unfortunately, are an option. Um, that is straight up disrespectful, putting me as a third stringer. That's just insane. Like I might try to go to those teams regardless next season, but for this season, we're gonna go with the Wisconsin Badgers. They have a history of running backs so now we have to add to the history of their quarterbacks and we are committed to the wisconsin badgers holy we have to play so much better than we did at northwestern but i think we'll actually have the weapons to do so this time we are going to try to upgrade um where we can it might have to be elusiveness and iq because elusiveness would help us with our agility um, and being able to get out because it seems like we do that a lot. 
And IQ would help us with carrying, which is what I'm focused on, because I don't want to fumble the ball. I don't. So we're going to have to get that, and then we'll get IQ. We'll go up to an 81. I really don't understand how you get high overall quickly, maybe just by performing well. So we're just going to have to do that now. All right, let's please, please try to have a show out game against whoever we're going to be facing because we need the XP. I want to be a 90 overall by the end of the season before we go into our senior year, see what happens, see if we stay with Wisconsin or what. But actually, I want to see the depth chart before we go into it. Um, that's, just, that's just a little too loud. Thank you. Um, ready for the first game of the year? I want to give you a challenge. Don't turn the ball over and don't take more than two sacks. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. In terms of being focused on it, I mean, I just can't throw it into risky places if I know that it could possibly get uh, intercepted. Oh, we're the eighth spot. We really do have to, we have to win. We could possibly be in the top four, but that doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't. Well, we just had to beat the Purdue bo Boilermakers? Yeah, Boilermakers. Holy fuck. Well, we just had to beat the Purdue Boilermakers. I mean, they're the 10th rank, so it could still be a good win on our resume anyways for the year. Um, for when the committee decides who makes it to the college football playoffs. But we got to get into it. I actually wanted to take a look at the depth chart before we get into the game just to make sure we know what we have. I mean, clearly we are the number one QB. Somehow they got Braden Locke. An 83 overall senior. Not my issue. We have a 79 overall Nate White. We have a good fullback. Uh, Chris Brooks Jr., who has 86 speed. Tretch Kakahuna, who is an 80 overall with 99 agility and 90 speed. And Kyan Barry Johnson, 79 overall, 92 speed, 99 agility. Do we have a good tight end? No. So what peaks? Oh, it's our offensive line. That's why we're highly rated. It's our offensive line. Okay. So at least that's much better. I mean, I can work with the QBs. The defense is just insane. 89 overall defense. It looks like everybody is just a menace to society. We have two middle, line, three middle linebackers that are 90 overalls. Or they're all 86. Their morale's up. But man, they look good. They look good. Is that Legarius Sneed? For some reason, I saw Sneed. Joseph Moirig. All right, perfect. We have a hell of a free safety, too. Let's get into it. Let's see what we can do with this new team. There we go. There we go. Keep getting the first downs. Beautiful, beautiful catch. The cornerback did not see it coming. Holy fuck. He's just getting first down at the first down. We have to be careful, but he looks like he might get in there. Beautiful, beautiful catch for our first passing touchdown with Wisconsin. Oh, 18 got through. Beautiful. First down. Beautiful. Open left side of the field. And we're getting a second passing touchdown of the day. Starting this off with a 14-0 lead. Come on, Brooks Jr. I think you can get open. I got time. I don't have time. Get it to the circle. Almost gets the first down. End of the first. And it's a 14-0 lead still. Right down the middle. He bounces off of that tackle. Gets out. He might go all the way off of that zone jet sweep. Wow. Or fake zone jet sweep. Let's go. Beautiful. 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 Get out there. Another one. Ah, uh, so close. I'm out here. I'm getting out there. Ah, I tried to push for the first down. Fuck. Never mind. Fuck you, Ashcraft. Beautiful, beautiful completion. They might try to read white. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Walk into the end zone for our third script. Whoa, third personal touchdown of the day. What the fuck was I trying to say? Rock the fucking baby. 28 to 3. Two minute warning, and we're up 28 to 3. We got to keep the public going. We got to convince the college football uh, board that we deserve to be higher than this. I'm out there. Let's go. First down. Oh! That's beautiful. Beautiful catch! Let's fucking go. I love these halfbacks. Dot. Holy fuck. Wow, we are dealing right now. Beautiful. Dot to the back of the end zone. Make it three passing touchdowns. Dot. Let's go. I love these fucking receivers, bro. Got another first down before the half. Let's go. That man is having a day. 171 yards and 14 rushes. Fucking wild. Oh. Oh my gosh. You just left them wide open for the touchdown. Making it our sixth of the day. Making Purdue look like a Division II team right now. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh. Our seventh touchdown of the day let's go gosh we're having basically a revenge game against purdue because we lost to them last year if i'm not mistaken um wow wow insane game so far 56 to 19 might be the last score that we see unless i decide to get greedy again or number 20 does holy night now, now he inspired me he inspired me he inspired me to get another one he inspired me. Let's go. Oh. Oh. He breaks tackles at an insane rate. 329 yards and 7 CDs for us today. Oh. 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 A fucking lob pass out of hell. Let's go. And that is going to do it. The Wisconsin Badgers, right? Win 63 to 19. Sorry if I got the mask out wrong. I've been looking at way too many of them. Eight touchdowns, 367 yards, and a 76 percentage completion rate. Chico Castro is having his revenge tour right now. Hopefully we can win a Heisman this year. That would be insane. Your passing performance today was one of the most memorable of the season thus far. What allowed you to do it? Uh, teammates. I'll do that because I'm not going to get a bad rep. Leadership increase, perfect. All right, let's go to the next big game. All right, never mind. Really nice job out there. You were scoring touchdowns left and right and no turnovers. That's the most important thing. Yeah, coach trust increase. All right, next rank match. I, I want to go up in the rankings. Let's go. Player of the week, player of the week. We're going to be getting probably a lot of those, but seven touchdowns, zero interceptions, and 367 yards. Hell of a week. And continuously for the following weeks, we would be in a running for player of the week basically every single time. As you can see against UCLA, we're throwing absolute dots to everybody on the team, getting out the pocket if we needed to, get the extra yards, fight for extra yards, and just keep trying to push for the score to go up as much as possible. Because the whole point of this is for it to get us up in the college football rankings because we want the easiest routes to the championship and not have to fight our way up against really difficult teams. While we still can do that, we would prefer not to. But we're getting out the pocket here, taking the flag, the late hit, baiting the defense, making them upset. So at this point, it's really the turning point of the game because they would start slacking. They would start getting off the players just like that. He fell back a little bit. We got the extra yards, 12 seconds left. We get to the one, and this play, our tight end drops the ball in the closing seconds of the first quarter, which was very disappointing and very upsetting whenever I was playing. But we move on, the running back goes in, gets some easy yards, gets the first down. We give it to him again, and he goes in there and gets the touchdown, makes it a 24 to 10 game. And we keep pushing forward triangle a dot between three people 
gets us another first. We're pushing, we're running for it, and we get 15 yards on that. And then we want that rushing touchdown, so we walk into the end zone in an open space that UCLA forgot to cover up. And we are looking great in this game. We're looking great so far, and hopefully it can continue like that for the rest of the season. But as of this game, we're definitely getting the blowout. We're just showing off at this point. And getting to the one there, trying to get the touchdown. And it's a back of the end zone dot again. And after that game against UCLA, we are facing Pitt, a team that's hungry to get our third spot or at least get ranked from beating a third ranked team. But we are already starting out with a great touchdown, giving it to the running back to get his yards. He gets a good first down as we're looking to deliver a floater to our wide receiver, getting a deep pass downfield. And we are going to continue to try to push for touchdowns. The Texas route gets us another first down, third and five, and we get sacked. Fourth and 13, and we're gonna see that for a little bit, but not on this play. We're gonna get around, get the first down, try to get around that man, but we don't have the elusiveness. And that dot to the tight end is gonna get us another first, and then square is also gonna get a similar gain on that deep pass. But here we have another situation that we get so close, but we can't finish. And second and 10, a dot while we're getting hit, a medium pass, and then a pat down. All that for basically nothing. 23 to three, we get a dot on the slant and get it down the middle and another pat down. It's just not our day with the red zone. But we try to get it downfield again. Again, another fourth down. And we're just trying to get on the board. And circle gets us the first and goal. And this is where we finally get our touchdown. But we have to do it ourselves, of course. And we finish off the game 50 to 20 against Pittsburgh. Oh, shit. My head's gone. Five touchdowns, 437 yards. Why the fuck is my head gone? My fraternity brother sent me a copy of last year's answers for the statistics exam. We have on Thursday. Do you want it? Use the answers and risk it. Fuck it. Fuck! Another player of the week. Let's go. We're not playing this week? Increase your GPA to above 2.0 to become eligible. Oh no. Oh no. We can't even play this week. Please win. Please win. I, I please, I, I don't want, no, please, please win. We have a senior that can take over. Okay, Braden Locke, I need you. I need you to win this. I need you to win this, please, please, please. Fuck, you incompetent piece of shit. We can't even play still. Fuck, bro, who are we facing? Okay, we can beat them. We can beat them. God, but you can't fucking, ah. The coaching staff has you suspended this week until you get your grades up. I'll see you in a study hall morning. Okay. Fuck, it's still not enough. Okay, we won that one. All right. We face the USC Trojans and we're not even fucking playing. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. What the fuck? Okay, I should be good. Yes, yes, he beat USC. Fuck yes. Okay, we're seven. We can still, we can, we're not gonna get top, we're not gonna get the top two. We're not gonna get the top two. Unless we face one of them and we'll beat them, then we can get it. But fuck, we really fucked ourselves. We really fucked ourselves. Gosh, wow. Okay, so 5-0, 5-0, 5-0, but Clemson is 4-1. Who do we face? Do we face any of those teams? We face Maryland this week. Stanford. Okay, so we don't face any, like, high-ranked teams, but we could still make it if we beat all of these ranked teams. Okay, let's go. And to start off with the first ranked team that we're going to be facing, it's going to be the Rutgers, who are 19th and already starting off with a dot. And we're looking for another one right there. And we get to first and goal. And it's looking good so far. And we get our first touchdown. And it's looking very, very good so far. But the Rutgers answer back with a touchdown of their own. 
and then we eat a sack. Then it's third and 13. We try to get the check down to go all the way for the first, but he doesn't quite make it. Makes it the fourth and one. And now we're in the end zone looking for something. Check down goes for the first, gets us to the 23. We look for somebody here. Circle just became open because the cornerbacks went to X. And he's going downfield. And he's not quite going to make it. But we're going to try to fully get a touchdown. And we're not able to. And it's fourth down. Circle once again. Looks like he's getting open. He does. Comes up and gets it for the first. Third and seven. Looking for anything. Circle gets it but can't quite make it. Fourth and two. Three minutes left in the second, second and six. And we get sacked for third and 17. Triangle is open and he gets it with his toes in before we get the first down. And it's a fumble and the defensive tackle picks it up and he's gonna take it all the way back and make it 21 to seven. That is insane. One of the weirdest plays I've seen in my life, but an insane catch by the wide receiver getting his toes in and an aggressive catch. But somehow, that was a pick. I paused because I got mad. But I don't know how he just stepped up and it fell into his arms. But it's not my issue anymore. We're looking for a touchdown regardless because they weren't able to make anything of that. And we get the first with the tight end getting a contested catch. Looking for another first down. Six seconds left, and they take us out for the field goal. X is open. That's a dot to the sideline. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left. Ooh, X is wide open downfield, getting us to the 20. We want to be able to get a touchdown. It's third and 10, and we're not going to be able to because he steps out of bounds with the ball. R1 just became open, gets the first, gets us that third down conversion. We have a slant open down the middle, and he does end up getting the first. We had 350 yards already, and we get another first down. Four minutes and 50 seconds left. Triangle gets open, gets us to the goal line, and then we get the touchdown right after. We are slowly answering back. It is 21-21, but we want to make this a blowout, and Triangle is going to take us all the way to the five. And we're looking for that touchdown again right there. Threading the needle and getting the lead once again. Nine minutes left in the game. We had circle getting open, but we wanted this and we break two ankles. Whew. R1 looks like he's getting open, but we're going to take it for ourselves because nobody's on the right side, but we get obliterated. Looking for anything, and it's not going to be a touchdown. We have to settle for a field goal. And an open corner route. A beautiful pass by Chico Castro. R1 open for the touchdown. Widening the gap of the lead that we have. And Chico Castro gets four touchdowns on the day. And heading directly into our last game of the season. A very pivotal game because they are the ninth spot, we're the seventh spot. This could decide both of our playoff spots completely. And it is also the Paul Bunyan's Axe game. So we're trying to show out to be able to get that trophy that they give out for that. But to start off, Minnesota was starting off very heavy on defense, making the quarterback uncomfortable, making Chico Castro uncomfortable making it almost impossible for us to do anything, making it third and 14 there. We tried to get it to X, and he drops the ball off of getting a hit. So it's fourth and 14, and Minnesota gains a 14 to three lead as we take another sack, third and 13. And Minnesota seems to be running away with it right now. I mean, R1 is not able to get that pass, makes it fourth and 13. We keep trying to push forward as we come back, and R1 should be open. We get the pass to him on an absolute bomb, getting us the touchdown, giving us some momentum. Triangle is open. Triangle gets some space, and he gets to about the 50 on that. At the 38, X is open, but we go with square, 
and square gets some extra yards gives us some good yardage circle though is able to get the touchdown off of shedding two tackles ties up the game and we get the ball back without them scoring and we have open space on the right side try to juke wasn't much going there but we also have we're dealing with a leg injury in this game that was very severe so we didn't really have much elusiveness but now we're getting closer and closer but we get sacked second to 16 we try to make up for it we make the tight end move up or the wide receiver move up to give us some space and we get to the three off of our own legs and x should be able to grab that and it's a touchdown making it 24 to 17 third and three and we somehow thread the needle and get the first there the halfback is getting around gets it on the screen gets the first down and that's all we can ask for second and ten we're trying to get another touchdown to somewhat put the dagger in but we just have to keep fighting for our own yards on our feet third and five in the third quarter and that right there should be the dagger as we keep pushing forward get the paul bunyan axe because we're gonna get another one right here to steal the deal and we're gonna finish the game 38 to 24 and hopefully making it into the college football playoffs another play of the week you love to see it you love to see it oh there it is we're facing the oregon ducks in the big 10 championship we are the five spot and they are the three spot we've been invited in one week so we might have a bye week maybe yes we do i don't know if i can upgrade those yet i really need my accuracy to go up okay actually i'm gonna wait it out i think i can survive another game against the oregon ducks and that right there ladies and gentlemen is what we're playing for we need to start off hot so we can't let off the gas pedal and let oregon come back at all i mean their third spot even though they have a worse record than us but we are showing that we should have been higher than them in the first place getting deep passes after deep passes and we're going to keep looking to keep doing that but a failure on a third down conversion does not help us as we get another pass downfield to get a first down triangle grabs onto that gets us another one and we're looking x down the middle has some space breaks a tackle but isn't able to get much more we look around we get through we almost get to the goal line and triangle is gonna finish off the job and get us that touchdown as we get to the second quarter we get sacked third and 13 and on third and 13 we still get the first regardless of the yardage third and four again converting on third down 153 yards and a touchdown already on the day triangle grabs that ball and gets into the end zone giving the wisconsin badgers an even larger lead square is open on that moving dead eye pass and we get very close to the red zone and we get that back corner touchdown for chico cashgar to put it right where the wide receiver needed it and close to the end to the first half we're just trying to get yards or maybe even get a touchdown a screen is gonna put us with another first down but inside but now chico castro is looking for somebody the running back is open he has speed he has space and he's gonna get another touchdown making an 11 point lead 28 to 17 and the wisconsin badgers are looking very good right now another touchdown just might see the, seal the deal that floater to the wide receiver gets another touchdown two back-to-back -back big plays and we're looking really good and we look like we're on our way to the national championship at this point the running back gets another first at this point we're just trying to burn the clock so they can't come back at all but another first down gives us more opportunity 400 yards and five tds already for chico castro and that's just gonna add on to it eight minutes and 45 seconds left we're up by 15 and we're looking for anything but we see the open space to the right we take it we almost get past the defensive tackle but we're not able to the running back gets around the corner gets speed and only gets the first and now we're just trying to secure the win at this point and that is going to give us the win 38 to 23 and now another touchdown on top of that and with that the wisconsin badgers 
are gonna take victory formation and run out the clock and win 45 to 29 to win the Big Ten Championship. And that should be another statement for the playoffs. I'm not sure if it switches because we beat them. Who knows, but we're gonna have to see. Hell of a game by us though. And we win the Heisman Trophy Award in 2026, only throwing six interceptions, throwing for 46 touchdowns and 4,300 yards, basically 4,400. Wow. I did not think it was gonna happen because of the three games that, imagine if we had those three games back, if we weren't ineligible. Oh man. And we win the Heisman. I want another one though, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I wanna push for another one, but Chico Castro, now can add that to his resume with the Wisconsin Badgers. This was a hell of a team, though. But we still have work to do regardless. Um, and then it's going to give me all Big Ten. Yep, first team. All Big Ten first team. And we are officially the Heisman winners. And that is insane. Because we weren't even... I, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. <laughs> We weren't in the top five before the last game against Oregon. So the fact that we won it blows me. But I'm I'm happy regardless. I'm happy regardless. I was working towards that all, all season, and that has been the last five hours of my life that I've been doing that. So 17 skill points. We still have another bye week. I would assume, well, we are the All-Americans. But with the standings, we are third still. Somehow Oregon and Florida are above us when we have when we're 12 and one doesn't make any sense to me So we don't play this week. What is the bracket looking like because finally we can base it off of that Why okay? I Don't understand that I Don't but we have a bye week regardless and then we face Clemson or Georgia in the Orange Bowl and it's going to be Georgia. The fifth seed Georgia Bulldogs is who we're facing in the Orange Bowl this week. And we have to be ready. And I think now's the time where we use these skill points. After we get some more. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love to see it. I love to see it. Yep. And then put me right back to health. We have 18. 18 skill points to use. And I just hope I make the right decisions because... Some of these are expensive for some reason. Um, so health probably isn't going to happen. Speed would be great, but that's a lot. So I want to put... I want to get accuracy. I want to get accuracy. And I want it to get throw power. But then that leaves me with four. I'm going to turn this down. Um, in case... That leaves me with four, which then I can't really spend on anything except for IQ or one of the, the one of these, which I'll probably do Silver Mobile Deadeye because it's been a tremendous help. This I can live without. My juke booth has been doing just fine, but my accuracy needs some help. Okay, I'm going to put it on accuracy and power. Put nine on that. We get up to an 85 overall. I think I'm going to put it on Mobile Deadeye. I think with these remaining games, we're going to have to be getting out the pocket a lot. And as much as IQ is great for the awareness and carrying, I'm going to put it on Mobile Deadeye. Put us at silver for that. We have one left, but it's okay. We're up to an 85 overall before we face the Georgia Bulldogs. And this is going to be a huge, huge game. Already starting off this game against Georgia, we are on third and six. But getting hit on that pass, we get the first down. And it seems to be a trend that we're able to do that. We run the play action we get it to square again and he gets us the first touchdown of the day now this was a very defensive game so we spent about the whole first quarter stuck at 7-0 we finally get another first down end of the first quarter we are giving it to triangle who gets a first down once again it gets us to the 40 now third and five barely getting past that first down marker and we're looking to get a larger lead, seven to zero. Four minutes left in the second. The running back gets the screen and gives us the first down again. Wide receiver screen, and he finds space. 
and he gets to the four, third and inches. We run an audible, and we get the touchdown to make it a 14-0 game. Now we're back after Georgia gets a touchdown of their own, but we want to answer back and not let them get any sort of traction. First down on first down. We're trying to get it to X, and he gets it, and he gets the touchdown off of a juke move. A very impressive one. We're getting out the pocket. We try to throw it, and we get it to the man downfield. 260 yards and three TDs. Another dot gets us further downfield to the 30, and we're looking to do more than that. Triangle right there on the edge and he gets it for the first and goal but we throw a pick the very next play and they take it back to the crib to make it a pick six basically a 90 yard pick six which hurts really bad but we want to make up for it r1 open should have found space didn't find it get to the 44 r1 again but we're gonna go with a deeper pass and that bullet gets us the completion triangle open but it's another pick but this time we tackle them at the goal line they don't really do much with it except for a field goal it is 21 to 17 we get a big gain to get us to the 31 square should be open and a perfect pass by chico castro to put it right where he needed it to get that completion back of the end zone pass gets the touchdown and now it is 28 to 20. We are just trying to run out the clock as much as possible. We need to be able to secure this, chew as much clock. And it seems like we're going to come out on top. Let's go. Let's go. 31 to 20. And we're going to take a kneel to finish off this game. And the Wisconsin Badgers are Orange Bowl champions. On to the next one. I don't think it's a national championship. I think it's a semi con the semifinals the charlotte 49ers they're not even ranked six touchdowns in one half and they took us out what did i say all we had to do was overwhelm them and they're gonna take us out at the half wow that's that's the semifinal that's the semifinals that we got the rose bowl and we obliterated the carolina 49ers and we're facing alabama crimson tide in the college football playoff national championship. Whew. It's going to be a big game. That's going to be a big game. And here we are in the final stage of college football. The college football championship against one of the most highly touted teams in college football history of Alabama. And I wasn't going to waste your time with that Carolina game. There was no way. There was no way that I was going to do that to you guys. So... I basically whooped the shit out of them and then kept it pushing. But now we are facing Alabama in the college football championship. And Alabama already has a 3-0 lead. But we can get much more than that. And we can get a touchdown on this drive if we really try to. We already started off with a first down. And another dot gets us another one. We're really getting those corner routes beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. But we get sacked on third and 20, making it fourth and 30. And on first down, we pass it to an out route, and he dies and catches that, giving us enough yardage to get the first. And now we are pushing for those extra yards with the rushing dive at the last second. Could have gotten a penalty there, but the running back gets us at first and goal. Third and goal at the three. Triangle anybody, but it's a pick and they get the touch back and get the ball but they don't do anything with it it seems like they turned it over and we get a dot to the end zone an absolutely insane pass and catch play there we have a man downfield over the shoulder catch gets us the first and goal at the six it is seven to three we want to make it 14 to three and we're not going to be able to it's going to be 10 to three but we get the ball back without them scoring once again. X is open. A dot once again. 150 yards, one TD, and one interception. Triangle would be open, but I saw X before, and he pushes for the touchdown. And now we are running away with the lead right now. 
and we're literally running away from the defensive line getting space try to juke out the way didn't really do much three minutes and 30 seconds left in the second we should be able to get another touchdown or at least some more points we get a first we have a man on a corner route gets his feet in gets us to the 22 17 to 3 a minute 54 left triangles would be open but we went with square square gets us to the one first and goal one of the more difficult spots they score a touchdown and we get in anyways that is going to be 24 to 3 if i'm not mistaken correct nine minutes and 50 seconds left after the first half we get into the second half and our wide receiver finds some space and gets some extra yardage gets us to the 39 we have a man open on a cross route beautifully second and goal we go with the screen wide open right side of the field walks into the end zone and widens the gap even more than we already had it against alabama who was ranked 15 which you wonder how they even got here without nick saban or any of their top guys because at this point Jalen moreau would have already been in the nfl but an insane catch by 22 getting up there and he's also short and we throw a pick the next play but as long as they don't get anything from it we'll be okay but they get a touchdown regardless it's still 31 to 17 so it's a 14 point game we get a first down a minute left in the third we're looking for some more we're gonna run for it but we only get to fourth and one so we have to punt it away they get a touchdown again they're making it a closer game we have to give them a dagger and it's 31 to 24 we're getting the first downs necessary we're gonna push for it right now again and we dive once again at the 30 we get it to our tight end once again diving for it an insane pass catcher right there and we get to the two off of a great pass to our wide receiver we run out we try to find some space and we get the touchdown all three of them were ready for that ball and we probably get the dagger with that but they still score regardless 38 to 31 we just need to be able to run out the clock third and six can he go get that did he i don't know he did oh wow that's gonna secure it that rush alone is going to secure us the college football championship wow and chico castro and the wisconsin badgers are one-time national championship winners i don't know if wisconsin's ever won one correct me if i'm wrong but chico castro is a one-time championship winner and maybe we can make it two come next year who knows last one standing win the college national championship and that's exactly what we did now we have to talk about something else here are our options right we can pick between going into the transfer portal possibly going to another team possibly making a whole different legacy by winning with two different teams hopefully but with two different teams or we can leave for the NFL. That's the second choice. We can leave for the NFL off of a national championship year, Heisman winning year, could possibly be a top pick, right? Or we can stay with the Wisconsin Badgers and continue the legacy of being one of the most dominant college football teams in history. Now, if you have a choice, let me know down in the comments below, okay? I will not drop another one until a significant amount of time has passed this episode for you guys to decide what path I go. Because I can either leave for the NFL, start a whole new position, and do this all over again, enter the transfer portal, go somewhere else, or stay in Wisconsin. It's up to you guys. But if you enjoyed it, please go down there and like so more people can see it so we can have to grow this family and grow this space I, I i would say i mean the only the only other word for family is just community um because i enjoy this thoroughly i mean i've just spent the past like seven hours of my life recording a full year of this and i'm unaffected and i'm ready to play more 
So let me know down in the comments below what you want to see and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more college football content or football content in general. Because I got mod tracks coming and all that stuff, but you'll just have to wait to see that. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.